I'm Zachary Parmer with Golden Eagle Log and Timber Homes. You are not going to believe what's above this garage. Let's check it out. Wow, who would have thought that this was up here? This is a 2200 square foot vacation rental. And if you're joining us late, this is part two of a three part series featuring three incredible Golden Eagle model homes and vacation rentals, which means that you can see, touch and feel all the cool materials that go into these one of a kind homes. All three of these properties are located along Portage Lake, which connects us to Lake Superior. There is a lot to see while we're up here and let's get started. This kitchen is one of a kind. I wanna show you what open shelving really does for transforming a kitchen space, especially when you're hosting large parties. The thing to consider with a vacation rental is that a lot of your guests don't know where everything is gonna be inside the cabinets. So you can have everything out on display. It makes it really easy for anyone that's just visiting for the weekend. You'll notice a continuing theme of transoms throughout this home. What they allow is for us to see in this beautiful forest. Today, we've got a gorgeous snowfall outside. It also brings in a lot of really nice natural light. And as you can tell, the lighting is really balanced throughout this whole space. Our regular viewers will notice that we've got Golden Eagle signature hand hewn finish on these beams throughout this space, as well as the supports for the shelves. And the shelves are utilizing our live edge pine slabs. How cool is that? Just to see these rustic knots, it really draws a great accent with all the reclaimed unique materials that we have in this space. And continuing with these live edges, we also are using that to cap the countertops here. And the countertops themselves, that's tile planking a reclaimed aesthetic to that, but really you get the durability, something that can withstand wear and tear over time. So that's really a great accent. We see that on the island as well. And this is one heck of an island. It can seat many guests. And of course we like using islands as a great way to foster gathering and conversation and community, which is what it's all about when you're on vacation with family and friends. Being that this vacation rental can sleep 16, of course there's enough dining for 16 as well. And that's when you include both of these tables and all the seats around the island. Now this home was built back in 2014. The exterior features Golden Eagle's timber siding with of course our signature hand hewn finish and high performance exterior stain. With that in mind, this was the first feature project to utilize our signature one inch rebar. This is just awesome to see this firsthand. This has a rusted finish on it. It never needed to be coated because it's on the interior. Whereas anytime the rebar is on the exterior of the home, it's always wise to coat it to prevent any future rusting. And take a look at this handrail. <laughs> How cool is this? So this is a, a worn edge along the edge of it. It really looks like it's reclaimed and, and pulled right out of the forest. Looks like it's been weathering for many years before it was ever installed. And speaking of pulled out of the forest, check out the burrows on these newel posts, as well as this support post. This is actually from the homeowner's property. This is absolutely unique and incredible, just perfect for a space like this. Now, right behind me, we have some awesome, truly unique and reclaimed barn board material facing all of the exterior walls. And it's accented with our awesome timbers that run vertically and then they continue along the ceiling, really elongating this whole space and adding a lot of interest. And that interest, of course, is really brought together with the reclaimed steel. This corrugated was actually pulled out of a previous Ford factory. In fact, you can see some Ford water marking, some symbols on it, marking that it had been from that factory. You can utilize a lot of creativity when placing timbers throughout your home. You'll see a varying amount of different sizes. We've got a six inch width and a three inch width, and those offer really good contrast with each other. Although there are no hard and fast rules when it comes to your timber placement, a good element to keep in mind is whenever you do have a timber following the ceiling, if you can have another vertical timber coming down, it gives the sense of a structural purpose of a load bearing post. It's important to be intentional about your lighting fixtures. Not only do they influence your home's decor, but also they serve a lot of great function 
and they can highlight the areas that you find most beautiful in your home. A great example would be these wall sconces, which are highlighting this beautiful reclaimed barn board. Or if you're viewing the home from the exterior, we've got wall sconces above each of these windows. When you're pulling in from the snowmobiles at night, there is no doubt where you're heading. This place has a warm and inviting glow that just welcomes you in. There's a cool story behind this roof that you see behind me. Now, traditionally that wall would just go all the way up to the ceiling. But in this case, it was a great opportunity to build out this space and it just adds a lot more interesting character. In fact, you've seen something similar to this if you've seen our amazing home video series. That was the home where they had an awesome bar in the finished lower level and there was a roof overhanging it. There are many cool stories of families that have stayed here and they've been inspired to build their own Golden Eagle home. The featured home behind me is from a family that passed along our information and that family then built this incredible home. Comment below if you think that this is a home that we should feature in an upcoming video. There is a lot more to show you on this incredible tour. We've got all three guest suites to showcase, but before we do, let's check out this bathroom. There is a sauna in here, and this is exactly what you would hope for when visiting a place like this. This is just the perfect place for warming up at the end of a cold day out on the trails. It even smells good in here with the cedar that we have in the space. Having all this attached to the main bathroom is really convenient and I can see it getting a lot of great use. These doors are really cool. They were custom made and you'll notice that there's green trim around the doors and the windows throughout the space. It's really a great way to bring in some color. I think it's also really neat to have this copper sink. Now copper is a living finish and that just adds, you know, more of the metal elements that you see throughout the space. Even below me, below on that Wayne's coating, we've got that reclaimed corrugated once again out of that Ford factory. And this is the same log finish that you see on the exterior of the building with our, our hand hewn finish on there. Now, as I exit this space, we've got more of the, the reclaimed barn board and we see even more of that as we continue into the bedroom suites. This is a cool space. We've got the marine lighting following us along in the hallway, keeping this really well lit. And then of course, we've got a terrific view heading out of these windows. Now. Oh, <laughs> there's actually a deer out there. The, uh, this is just, it's like you're in paradise up here. It is really just quite an escape. Now, this is a terrific example where you can utilize the placement of vertical timbers to make all these timber elements seem more structural. Now, this is technically decorative, so it's really for the aesthetic, but bringing this timber down really gives the sense of it being structural and even notching the, the end table around it does the same effect. So that is purely optional, but really it, it really draws in more of that structural purpose. A pretty cool ceiling fan above us there. Always good to have good airflow and ventilation. Let's check out this bathroom suite. There's a double vanity sink in there once again with the copper bowls. And we've got a, a continuation of that live edge top. Check out the gnarly knot on this. That is just cool. And of course, more utilization of this beautiful reclaimed corrugated. This corrugated looks like it was hand painted with all these beautiful colors, but in fact, it just is rusted. And we see this continue on. We get into more of a, a private toilet area and a really cool walk-in shower. Now, this is a great idea. Anytime you have extra tile planking to utilize that as shelving, and you don't have to build the niches into the wall. I think that's a great idea right there. This flooring is very special. It looks like it had just been installed, although it certainly looks reclaimed and rustic. It still has a perfect finish on it, and there have been many guests staying here throughout the years. And really, it's a testament to the high quality materials that are used throughout this entire structure. Although they look like they are reclaimed and pulled out of a barn, these are very premium and rare, very difficult to find. Take a look at these bunks. They were all custom built on site, even the handrail and the ladders, it all fits perfect in a space like this. Each bunk room is using the same materials, just with different stains applied to the bunks. And what's great about all this is although the wall finishes are all very similar, being that everything is applied differently, each room has its own distinctive feel. It's most common that when corrugated steel is installed, it's installed vertically, just as we see on the exterior perimeter wall. But in this case, it's installed at an angle as well as horizontally. The main intention for that is that it would pick up the light differently and really offer new dimension. It's also cool to add this horizontal band board, splitting these two materials, as well as running more reclaimed horizontally. And of course, 
take a look at these coat hooks. Those are just awesome, perfect for a bunk room like this when you have many guests staying in this space. We're back with Sandy at another one of her incredible vacation rentals. This place is spectacular. It really is one of a kind. So distinctively different than the previous one. Now, you've had many guests here. This has been available for the last seven years. Correct. What are some of the more popular comments that your guests have said? They really enjoy being able to get together, have a common area where everybody can laugh, make memories, play games, and make dinner together. So by, at the end of their vacation, they have now got long lasting memories. I would highly recommend that if any of you are interested, make the trip here. We'll put Sandy's contact information below in the description. This is certainly worth checking out. Now stay tuned, we have another incredible vacation rental listing that we are gonna be showing you. So you'll wanna see that and check that tour out too.